this is part of the view at the top. Oh, I'm liking those playground equipment. They look very futuristic. Stargate. Okay, Ava wants to show us her favorite one. We don't really see this beautiful um, playground equipment. They're usually so, so ugly and... Um, oh, there's Ava. She wants to show us her favorite playground equipment here. Because she used to go to a school that's about like 5-10 minutes away on foot from this place. She just told me that they used to do track and field over here. She said her favorite thing was the spinning thingy and she was like, you know, one time I spun so fast I nearly went into the future. I tried to go 85 miles per hour. You tried to go 85 miles per hour? But then I got TV. Okay, so where's that thing then? Where's your spinning thing? That's the spinning thing? What? I thought it was something else. I thought it was bigger. <laughs> How are you gonna go to the future with that? Okay, come on, spin as fast as you can. Come on. Whoa. Don't vomit. Mommy is two people and then I go. Two people? Want me to ask that cleaner if she wants to join you on the spinning thing? Avril? No. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, so cool. Are you in the future yet? All right. Let's go. I'm gonna stay here. Okay, goodbye, La. Ask the cleaner to help. This place is covered in military tunnels, Abel, from the war. I didn't know that. I didn't know we had tunnels, April. Yeah, you can go through them. That's why I want to go and see when they're open. I know they look quite cool, but I think lack of manpower and they shut them again. Lack of manpower in Macau? No way. All through this hill, there's military tunnels from the war. There's been many wars here. In Macau? No wars. Macau's a very yeah. peaceful place. Yeah. It's the most neutralized place in the planet. Now it is. Right? Yeah. Now ne neutralized. Not before. Neutralized place in the planet. In the world. That's what the line is, right? You guys remember that line? No? Yes. No one remembers that line? Yes, I do. The most neutralized place, yes. Hey, Rob. Look at the instructions. You can't do it. Oh. <laughs> what is this guy doing? Following the instructions. See? That's exactly what it's for. Okay. <laughs> Do this on our morning walk. Yes, we should. Yeah. Take the cat or maybe like a squash. All right. Yeah. Keep it. Really? World yeah, her you talk. can take it home and eat it. 1622. Wow. Built between 1620 and 1638, this fortress was, together with Mount Fortress, crucial in the protection of the city from the tentative Dutch the invasion of 1622. Into the fortress stands Gia Chapel, built around 1622, and Gia Lighthouse, built in. 1865, the first modern lighthouse on China's coast, still in operation to this day. Macau takes the reference for its geographic coordinates from this lighthouse. Gia Chapel is dedicated to Lady of Gia, noting that Gia means guidance in Portuguese. Hmm, did not know. In 1996, frescoes were uncovered inside Gia Chapel during routine conservation works. The chapel's elaborate frescoes depict representations of both Western and Chinese themes, displaying motives of religious and mythological inspiration that are a perfect example of Macau's multicultural dimension. Gia Fortress, together with Lighthouse and Gia Chapel, are remarkable symbols of Macau's military maritime and missionary past. Interesting. Alright, so let's go up this Gia. Ooh, interesting. The big title, twenty second, twenty third September. Hmm, very interesting. Those are all the type insignias. Eight. Eight. Oh, how come 
there are two type of eight signals. Interesting. Northeast and southeast. Okay. Thank you, Eva. History. Okay. So there's the lighthouse. Oh, look at that massive anchor. Is that like camera lighting? Oh, someone's doing stuff up here. Huge steps. Oh. Yep. Oh, I see. Someone's doing wedding stuff here. Okay, the next one we have this 
Ah, this is so cool. It's a keychain. It's a one-eyed monster. Oh, I remember it now. This is something soft. It's supposed to be something soft. This is quite soft. The next one is, whoa. Oh, look at that. Also, I believe this is something scented. And it is a perfume. I'm so jealous. Seriously, how can other countries get away with sending over items like this? I cannot send stuff like this. Alright, so that is something scented, something soft. The last item we have is this one. Look at that. I think Avril will, oh, Avril will like this. Avril has a shirt that's something similar to this. Look. Magic. 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 So, this I remember, this is something sparkly. I just cannot work out what the other two are. So it's supposed to be something soft, something scented, something sparkly. I just need to figure out what the other two are. Alright, let me come on down so you guys can have a closer look of the items that I have received. Okay, so let me just show you this one from this beautiful teaspoon from Gibraltar. Look at how long that is and look at how beautiful, how elegant. And then my five items from Spain. Again, something sparkly, do, 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 do. something soft, that's so cool. I think Avril will steal this from me. Yeah, that's like a hairy mug. And then something, something that I can't remember the adjective for, but this is very, very cute. It's a unicorn notebook, comes with a pen. And then gummies that has melted, but that's fine because again, I could just stick this in the fridge and it will be all good again. Don't give that to Graham. The last one we have the perfume so that's something scented oh well, thank you very much maria palazon from spain the last piece of mail that we have for today is this nice box this is from miss dixie davis in the u.s she lives in i oh, don't know where that is now but just need to show you that beautiful snail mail die cut that she has that is very cute so let us open this up can't wait to see what this is it's getting really really hot exhausting note to self do not open mail outdoors during the summer winter might be a better but at least if it's under your constellation really at least it's not bright and sunny because again it's a very very hazy day today <laughs> Ooh, nearly stabbed myself in the finger i can smell it something smells really really nice let's look at the note the note <laughs> Alright, so let's see what the note says. The first one, find a rock, find a rock. Verona PA, find us on Facebook. Hmm, not exactly sure what that is. And then, ooh, this is the alphabet O tag. She says, always for Oreo cookies, oatmeal cookie, and Orbit gum. Enjoy. Nice. Oh, and then she says, hello, Purcell. I have also enclosed a rock from my kindness rock group. I hope you can post a pic to the group and hide the rock again. Hmm, very interesting. Okay, let's see what this is. This looks like a challenge for Graham. Okay, those are Oreo minis. Fun bite-sized Oreo cookies. Next we have Grandma's Oatmeal Raisin. Orbit, Spearmint Orbit Gum. Those are her old items from me. Now let's look at this final thing that's in here. So this is the rock. So it says there, find a rock and hide a rock. Verona, find us on Facebook. Okay, so I think we are supposed to hide this rock. Not too sure. Let us just recap the O. Oreo cookies, the oatmeal, Orbit's gum. Now let's go back to this rather interesting rock thing. This is the first time I'm receiving stuff like this, so bear with me. It says there, I have also enclosed a rock from my kindness rock group. I hope you can post a pic to the group and hide the rock again. So I think we're supposed to hide this somewhere and then, um, what, let someone find it? I'm not sure. Yes, you there. can. I think you probably hide it. You tell the group that you've hidden one, they know, Mikhail, there's a rock to find. I don't know, it could be like a hidden troll, those sort of things that people do. But we won't be hiding this here, we'll find another place to hide this in. So that's all the mail that we have opened here at the lighthouse. It's getting really, really hot. So we are going to move over to another place and open some more mail, okay? I shall see you guys again. Goodbye and have a good day. Happy YouTubing, guys. <laughs>
Hello. Yep. Hello. Ah, hello. You just need to watch out for my double chin. Can't really see it from here. <laughs> <laughs>